right guys got a special one for you today something out of the ordinary but an old school classic that has me fired up 1991 ford f-150 just a beautiful truck uh bought here originally new and i want to let uh taylor hill and his dad do a little bit of talking too they're the owners and have brought this thing back to life with our help obviously uh, but this we got Taylor right here, and we got Pops back here too. Uh, they're here to do some accessory work to their current uh, Ford trucks. So, so they so graciously brought this bad boy back in. It's the first time I've actually got to see it, and it's way better than even the pictures or them telling me about it. Just a phenomenal truck. Uh, so Taylor, tell me a little bit about, I guess, um, what lifts on it, and maybe what engine we're working with, because I'm gonna show them a sound clip and it sounds right. amazing. So tell me a little bit about it, Taylor. Yeah, it sounds great. It's a uh, it's the stock motor. We went by and back and replaced it. So it's a 351, uh, the V8, and then it's got a four inch skyjacker lift, uh, 33, 12 and a half on the 17, kind of trying to keep that old school look. Uh, this was both of my grandfather's trucks. Um, one bought it new in 1991 from Aikens, took it. Uh, he then later sold it to my grandpa, who passed it down to a couple people in the family. And long story short, we found it in the woods and got it back from a cousin, brought it up here in, at Aikens and uh, did a frame off restoration. And uh, as you can see, they did an amazing job. So we wanted to keep it kind of uh, kind of stock, but bring it back to uh, to a little newer look a little bit with some- Absolutely. Upgrades. So this truck, y'all, I mean, definitely there's a market for this truck, but this is a truck that'll be passed down from generation to generation in the Hill family, very fitting. And we're so glad they brought it to us today. It's got that 11 through 15 tuxedo black metallic paint color in it, which is a, a great, I'm glad they chose that y'all, because I've told you this, this paint has got a lot of blue and gray metallic flake in it. So it's a really, uh, it just pops in the sunlight it's real sunny today it looks amazing in the sunlight and it's got you know that black look to it but you get up to it and you can tell man this is a custom truck this truck has this a little more attention to detail on it well he has a tag in his hand he had a little we had an old aikens tag we got him the new aikens black tag on the front we were, they were talking about like i got you a tag right here we got toyo open country mt tires uh a great tire they run it on their current vehicles too you know about that mud terrain. Uh, the Skyjacker with the Black Max shocks up front. With the Rezies, they got the old school bullet hole wheels. Love that. Uh, Aikens liner in the back. Truck sounds amazing as well. This has got me like, I'd like to maybe do some rear applique on the back on a new truck. I, I don't know, this truck got me thinking about, we do some retro trucks. We could do something really cool and, and maybe pay a tribute to this generation we pay tribute to that 70 um year model a lot taylor show me on the inside too In, inside man this thing you know we just did a retro truck with a similar color scheme but this looks way better look at this just in immaculate shape i mean just phenomenal most of the original components too look at that dash held up so nicely that's the stock dash everything's stock except for the seats were redoubled the uh, cat skin leather i believe and then the radio is a nine inch alpine got you where did y'all find where was the truck what's the story of the truck where did you find it initially where was it at was it it out? was it was a cousin's house yeah they used it as a farm truck it actually wasn't even running hadn't been running two to three years wow uh and i'll, I'll send you some photos so you can post it for everybody yeah. to see but it, it was uh it was in rough shape had to have it on a flatbed brought over here and uh yeah the rest is history man so yeah, we did that retro truck that was black and silver not too long ago, and we did red interior on it. And y'all were y'all were some of y'all were hammering me about doing red interior, and I told y'all that they run red interior on some of these older trucks, and it just looks so nice. So you're welcome. Looks great. I mean that that's that's the only color it could be on the inside to me. That really just makes it pop, makes it look more. Because if that was a black interior, it'd, still, it'd be a nice truck. But that just this just oh, yeah. it's next level. That you looks. Want me to fire it up for you? So let's you fire it up. Fire Absolutely. It yeah, it's great. About the only thing in there original is that rusted piece right there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Find one yeah, yeah. 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 Any 
if you see that the tag third gen obviously it's not a third gen ford it's for the third generation family driving the truck so that's pretty awesome right there so uh uh both these gentlemen right here are great customers here at Aiken's been for a long time longer than i've been here for sure uh, they've been uh you know doing business with us here so we greatly appreciate that we're going from four to six inch on his truck and we're doing coilovers here very very soon so stay tuned you'll see his their videos coming for their vehicles also but uh thanks so much guys for bringing this into me today this this is uh Absolutely. this is a bright spot in my day i love all our new trucks but seeing something like this is uh truly special you get a little one more walk around in the sunlight that paint just pops let us know what you think about this one and if you want us to do a new retro truck paying homage to this body style that's kind of what i'm thinking thanks for watching